Hey, what's up? Welcome to another installment of Truth Pace with James Anna. How you doing? Uh, let's see. Um, apparently, last week, I put up a status regarding Chili from TLC and her new show, What Chili Wants. And this status got over 400 comments. So I got to address this thing. Um, my What I said was, is Chili wants um, in a relationship. She's looking for a relationship. It's another one of those reality shows, uh, messy black woman reality shows, where they show uh, Chili in pursuit of a man, and she wants this dude to have, oh, she said, these are her words, gorgeous. She wants him to be gorgeous, have flat washboard abs, uh, a big dick, uh, can't eat pork, drink, or smoke, uh, be financially well off, and I, that's about it. And my point was, because a lot of you sisters out there took this shit the wrong way, is Chili is 39 with a kid, okay? And it's not that she's disqualified for pursuing happiness being a 39-year-old mother, but 39 is too goddamn old to have that list of demands. 39 is, you should know what a good man is by that time and just be looking for a good man, okay? And have me, I can see two of those, you know, three of those things, maybe I can see you having a big dick and being in shape and having some money or, you know, but what about love and respect? Why didn't she say anything about that? Okay, that, that, that you have to vocalize that, that you have to say you want love and respect, okay? Uh, the other thing is, is like I said, at 39 and you still in the game, something's wrong, okay? Uh, Chili's a good-looking woman, and nobody's asking, well, bitch, why ain't you got a man? Okay, why are you looking for a man? So you should not have to be looking for a man. And ladies, I need to say this. Uh, the more attractive you are, the less single you should be, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm tired of keeping it politically correct and all this bullshit. Yes, the finer you are, the more options you have to meet a man. You're meeting a man all the time, and eventually a good dude, you should pick a good dude out of the dudes that's coming at you, okay? Uh, and a lot of women took offense to this, and the irony is a lot of you sisters that took offense, I'm going to be real, you ain't that goddamn fine, okay? Some of y'all that were getting upset, um, and that's what bothered me about it is a lot, something's going on with sisters nowadays, where y'all are mistaking, uh, you know, a lot of sisters saying they got men coming at them and all this, and a lot of y'all are mistaking having sex for being sexy, okay? You got to know the difference, okay? Just because you're getting a lot of dick don't make you sexy, okay? Just because a lot of dudes are coming at you don't make you sexy. Um, here's the thing about men that y'all don't understand is, Men fuck below their pay grade every day, okay? Uh, a man who normally dates tens will fuck a six now and then, okay? And the problem with that is is that the six now thinks she's a ten. And you got to put the bitch around some tens to remind her her position. And I think that's what needs to happen is a lot more y'all need to come down to earth. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of... Um, I don't want to say unattractive, but just a lot of chicks who ain't as attractive as they think they are. With uh, a lot of a lot of sixes walking around with nine swaggers, and the shit is not cool. It's fucking up the ecosystem, and uh, I think we need to uh, really establish what a hot chick is, okay? And I'm not gonna say you're not hot because I don't believe in telling women they're not hot, um, or any woman in particular. I just say. Uh, you need to know if, whether or not you're hot because a lot of y'all are on some real delusional bullshit. And you need to understand that, you know, ugly chicks get dick too. So quit using men uh, approaching you as the barometer of your hotness. Because uh, have you seen Flavor Flav's mama? Okay, somebody had to fuck her to bring Flavor Flav into the world. Okay, so stop going by that. Um... Here's some hot chick signs. Okay, I'm just giving you a couple. Uh, 
One is hot chicks have had three or more rich boyfriends or famous boyfriends because rich and famous dudes are the barometer of what a hot chick is because that's all they date. Okay, so if you've been dating a bunch of bus drivers and niggas that work at the grocery store and uh, the dude at Jiffy Lube, there's a clue. Okay, uh, hot chicks uh, have haters. Okay, and not imaginary haters. All you women out there that think you have haters, I'm going to count to three and you got to name. No, I'll give you five. I'll count to five. And you have to name out loud while I count to five. Three or more haters. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. If you couldn't name three haters in that countdown, you're not a hot chick. Okay? Uh, here's another hot chick sign. Is uh, men are always offering to do shit for you. You know, do housework. Drop you off at the airport. Help you move. And you ain't asking none of these dudes to do this shit. They just volunteer their own free will to do shit for you. That's a hot chick sign. Okay? Uh, I have more. I'll be doing them on a, a Plains Devil, Devil's Advocate on my friend Kiki Richardson's show tomorrow night. Uh, I'll leave a link on my, on the, on my page. But uh, a lot of y'all are fucking delusional. And somebody has to say it. Because uh, like I said, I'm tired of seeing average looking chicks walking around like they're hot from now on i'm going to carry a little makeup mirror and if i hold the door for you or say hello and i get the gas face i'm going to hold the mirror up to remind you your position in the game anyway uh that's it for truth paste uh if you dug what i said leave a comment if you didn't dig what i said leave a comment and uh as always peace